fair use disclaimer. The copyright laws of the United States recognizes a fair use of copyright content. Section 107 of the United States Copyright Act states, notwithstanding the provisions of sections 106 and 106A, the fair use of a copyrighted work, including such use by reproduction in copies or phone records or by any other means specified by that section for purposes such as criticism, comments, news, reporting, teaching, including multiple copies for classroom use, scholarships, or research is not an infringement of copyright. This video and YouTube channel in general may contain copyrighted works that were not specifically authorized to be used by the copyright holders, but which we believe in good faith are protected by federal law and the fair use doctrine for one or more of the reasons noted above. I, I could share my screen. It's just a little short clip and we can listen to it. But yeah. Yeah. He said, uh, you know, he can't say much because, of course, his lawyers, he act like his lawyers told him not to talk. But I'll just let y'all hear. Oh, it. he actually said the lawyers don't, told him not to talk and he should have just kept quiet. Yeah. But OK, it, you can pull it up, Miss V is right there. OK, there's been a, a million and one accusations. <gasps> oh, my God, no. <laughs> I'm being serious. So so let me explain some things. I'm, I'm not my attorneys don't want me to speak, but I think there's things that I need to clear up a little bit. I think you should listen to your attorneys. Why don't I think people like to listen? Like if your attorney told you don't say nothing, why are you talking? <laughs> listen, so Caesar and myself did seminars. Now, the reason I did these seminars is because I wanted to uplift my community. I wanted to teach my community about real estate, things that I didn't know when I was first buying my first home. I wanted to teach our community about investing in generational wealth. So I did these seminars and brought industry professionals to all these seminars, whether it was real estate agents from different markets, contractors, uh, conventional lenders, hard money lenders. I even brought auction.com to actually show people how to purchase houses online. That's what I wanted to do for my people. Now, Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. But I do understand how people feel if they did give him money, because I gave him a lot of money Jesus, that I didn't see a dollar of return. But for, for anybody to say I was involved, that's totally not true. I would never. I've been on. Just notice how he just keep reading everything he's saying, right? Because it's so mm -hmm. rehearsed to say lot sitting there lying, just like he lied to on Ty Tyrese, him and his dang on wife. But listen, this radio close to thirty. I've been on radio <laughs> close to thirty years, and never in my thirty years time did I do nothing but try to uplift people and show people a different way through the business mind. And I would never take a dollar from somebody. I, I could be wrong, but I didn't see nobody accusing you of taking money. I just saw them say that they met Caesar because they heard you talking about Caesar. Now, they, they basically said I was privy to it, and that wasn't true. Not I mean, I, at all. I, 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 I... No, we the people said that you was promoting it. You you was a partner. It, it's in the he paperwork. He absolutely was. He was definitely mm -hmm. a partner. It says it in the documents, the paperwork, when they was investigating it. He was his partner. So now you see how he want to backpedal now, doing the two-step? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. While, while throwing Caesar under the bus. Now it's all on Caesar, but you was at every seminar standing right alongside him, going out into every part. I'm, I'm just let this what finish I read. and then I'm going to say what I got. <laughs> In actual court papers, I didn't see that. They said that the, all these people are saying that they met Caesar because of you. Right, and they're saying that. that nobody it, accusing you of taking no money. To the point where if, if you read the court documents, Caesar wrote an affidavit that says, DJ Envy, Rashawn Casey, had no knowledge of me investing people's money. I saw that too. He wasn't there. He wasn't part of those conversations. He wasn't even nowhere in those meetings. And those are, those are documents that's out there. So if we're going to talk about truth, let's talk about the truth. And those are the documents out there. And well, I know- You can't talk about the truth yet because your lawyers don't want you talking at all. So the smart thing to do is I understand you want to say something to the listeners and, I, and, and I'm sure the listeners appreciate it. But man, just wait until all the dust settles. And when all the dust settles- Shut news, up, you on this radio and have a real conversation. Until then, I just, I don't, you know, I don't think you should be saying any of this, but, you know, that's just me. Look at you. You can't even help yourself. What else you want to say now? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. All right. Uh, but when the dust settles, okay. you, you can have a real conversation 
with with the but it's audience. difficult because the stuff that you're hearing is like that's totally not true like it's not true like well, that should be, that's, that's fake news like those are fake stories that should be enough you know what the truth is if you know what the truth is don't worry about it because the truth don't need no defense it just need the truth don't need no defense just witnesses that's all right. it all right all right well hopefully. and by the way you look very suspicious because you don't have your just a minute right now so it's like the grades are coming in right here in the back and, it, and you need a little haircut, so it just makes you look like, oh. I just want to say this on closing. Oh, I've, never, I've never stole anything from anybody, <laughs> and I'll just leave it at that. Charlemagne annoying. What? You know what rhymes with what? 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 And from what I oh, told, come on, man, with this old <laughs> crap. See, see, I can't. <laughs> right. The, so what you think gas, about this girl, whole thing? The they so lighting. crazy. It's the gaslighting for me. You know, like we gonna we not gonna act like you wasn't at every seminar standing alongside him. You wasn't in every commercial. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the, the main thing that really upsets me the most about this whole thing is that they did it to regular schmegular people like us, people that work really, yeah. really hard, that actually save their money to try to have something to leave to their children, their grown adult children and their grandchildren and things like that. They didn't go to the celebrities who are already rich and got money. No, they went and singled out the regular people like us, the little people. You know, they went out there to, you know, all different parts of Jersey and Elizabeth, Patterson, Newark, East Orange, you know, trying to talk that gift to gab, the whole hustle about the hustle and bustle, like, look at me. And you had him on your platform. He Caesar was on the Breakfast Club promoting his whole the whole business. And Multiple DJ times. Envy, yes, and DJ Envy was right there with the pom poms cheering them on. So now don't try mm -hmm. to act like you ain't know nothing. Like you had no idea because if you gave him 500,000, like you want us to believe, which I don't believe you, but if you want us to believe that you gave this man $500,000 of your hard earned money, right? But you didn't do no paperwork. You didn't do no research. You didn't, you just took his hustle and bustle and ran with it too. Like you just like, come on now. You a businessman. You have been doing Yeah. This. They said he said that houses. five hundred thousand went towards a school that they were supposed to open like, up, but it didn't never open same, up. You the same person that ac accidentally. Hey, Miss T. You the same person that accidentally sent the wrong c contractor five thousand dollars on Cash App, and you didn't stop to you you didn't stop. And when I and I mean that, I'm putting that. In, um, I'm gonna emphasize that you didn't stop till you got your five thousand back. So you mean to tell me you put in five hundred thousand, and you didn't do no research? Come on. Now. No, I don't I don't know at what point he put in the five hundred thousand, but um he did put in the five hundred thousand and for the school or whatever that never opened and when he called him about it, he ended up paying him his money back. No. Um that's what I heard him say. Then he turned right. around and then it was another video saying that he still owed him. Right. That's so, what that's, um, that's what I'm going off for what he said out his own mouth. And he said it in this video too again. He took a loss. I took yeah. a loss. I took a five hundred thousand dollar loss. No, you didn't, dude. Stop. Now you really playing in our face. Because you, so like do I you said, think you I the same should be sued? That too? went in heavy and hard over five thousand dollars. You want us to believe you gave this man five hundred thousand? And you didn't go hard. I believe he did. I no, definitely believe no, he did. I that think man they got was some in money. Business together. I'm not they saying were, that but the he... money wasn't there, that you know that it never happened. I'm saying they were in business together. He didn't. He didn't this, give this is the way it looked like to me. They okay. were, they did do business together, but like I heard um, DJ Envy say that um, he basically they partnered up together because DJ Envy, I think once he found out about him, he was like, you know, we could, I could help you promote this. This is a good thing or whatever and all of that. And he said that caesar taught him everything that he's doing and so right. he learned it from caesar and right. caesar learned it from his prisoner cellmate when he was locked up for credit card right. fraud but, but wait so a minute. that but let's keep in mind this didn't just happen overnight they've been promoting this for at least uh since 2020. DJ Envy been and I, yeah this, <clears throat> these seminars with him for about three years now you're not just finding this out 
Like, you know. It's like, been going on like, since 2017, but I, know, I don't know no, when no. DJ Envy jumped in. Yeah, you can you can watch the videos. They're little commercials. They've been doing this since the, since the COVID. DJ Envy's mm -hmm. been messing with him since 2020. I They got the, you know, their little commercials, if they haven't taken, they probably took most of them down, but I'm sure you've got people that's been talking about it. Oh, people yeah. I've been seeing video. all that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I've people, been binge watching this stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> doing this for three years with him you didn't just find this out no it's now that he got busted you trying to backpedal and do the two-step out of it you trying to get yourself out of it but the paperwork the, even in the indictment it says that dj envy was his partner so yeah he, he definitely partner. is his partner yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Wasn't a client. he was a but partner. see this is this is the crazy thing. Shout out to Nexi in the chat. Y'all, please smash the thumbs up for us. But th this is the funny part is that um, Envy is trying to act like he didn't know anything and he wasn't in the room for any of the business right. deals and all of this. But they literally share the same office. They just got a wall between them. Right. And there's pictures oh, of him with people that did deals. Yeah. And so it's you just know like, you used your influence. You, DJ you can Envy. hear each other through the walls. Yeah, it's definitely you know, his influence. You, right, he used his influence to get other people, like you know, the small people, the little people, because they gonna, you know, this DJ Envy, he not gonna rob us. Come on, this man got money. He on a whole major platform. He's on the Breakfast right. Club. He not gonna get over on us. He not gonna do us like that. So of course, a lot of their trust, the people that worked with, you know, put in they they money, they did it on the strength of DJ Envy. And for that, yeah. you should take accountability and stop getting up here now and want to talk about, I can't do much talking because, of course, my lawyers ask me not to talk. Dude, if you don't got nothing to hide, then tell your story.